Hey there, folks. My name's Noe. And I'm making a gaming channel. Oh, boy. I'm playing PUBG. What it do? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're just Man, always I'm doing sorry. something. I think, like, when we first started recording, you were playing, uh... It's that new game, The Tale of Two, or something like that? It takes two, yeah. It takes two, I yeah. I was my girlfriend while I was <laughs> the podcast that was fun i'm definitely not opening up pub g right now <laughs> got a number one victory roll you know. don't worry for all of you people listening uh you won't miss anything from me and taylor's pub g games because we are ass at it we won't even I'm just okay <laughs> I'm okay we can get <laughs> no um Oh, how was your guys' day today? I feel like we haven't talked much since the last time we recorded. I went to the bank. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Noah, how about you? You enjoying yourself? Oh, I've had a long day, I'll tell you that much. It. I'm just tired from today. <laughs> um. Besides that, it was it was a pretty average day, but I'm happy I get to sit here with the boys on the couch cast. That's for sure. Well, we all sit in our the boys. chairs slash bed. Still haven't filmed on a couch yet, so the record's Spoiler. still going. <laughs> Spoiler warning: uh, We're not actually on couches. <laughs> is that like a spoiler, or is that just like a? Uh, I don't even it's, know. It's a very big spoiler. <laughs> it's like that. You ever seen that one meme? Or it's like off some dude's Twitch stream, and it's like they keep saying like, "What's behind the fridge? What's behind the fridge?" And then he gets up oh. and he's like, "You want to know what's behind the fridge?" And then he stands up and it's just a cardboard cut out of a fridge. <laughs> There's never been a couch. Yeah. Ever. Ever. <laughs> it's all been a lie. Sorry to dis deceive you. I see we're just <laughs> jumping right in. <laughs> we haven't even we talked have about our uh, any. We have to, kind of. All right, we're talking <laughs> about Animu today. I <laughs> uh, yes, with the army weeb himself, we'll have to start this off. So. That means I can probably go on about a rant about my favorite anime that I'm currently raving over. So, they just um, continued a series that I'm a very big fan of. I'm called... Uh, what is it again? That time I got reincarnated as a slime. I will admit, yeah, that's a title for you, but... I feel I like have... most animes just have a very specific title. <laughs> You see, the reason they did that is because people got so le lazy that they wouldn't read the summary. So then they just put the summary in the title. The inconvenience I dropped my Chick-fil-A sandwich and met a girl. That would be my <laughs> anime. <laughs> what was it? Um, there's another anime out there called... Uh, got rejected so I shaved my face and I took in a high school runaway another great very specific straight to the <laughs> point <laughs> that's what I'm talking about but yeah I'm yeah that's an anime that is currently uh, doing its season 2 part 2 I do recommend it it's a good watch um, I feel like some of the biggest animes I've watched are, uh, I finished Castlevania, but I don't know if that's considered anime. Um, but you mentioned, I think on one of our other episodes, that, uh, that, like, anime isn't, has been, like, expanded because a lot of them come from Korea now, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff is from Korea right now. I remember it's that. Pretty cool. 
yeah i remember that like a lot of like i don't know i have a few friends excluding you that like were really big in the anime as well and they were like pretty heavy about like it's not anime if it doesn't come from japan what's japan never heard of it is that like one of the country that got nuked twice Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm happy there was too much talking there so that the viewers can't uh, couldn't understand what joke was there. <laughs> I, I think he did. I think I think they did. Uh No. <laughs> you know me. So Caleb, what's an anime you've watched? Recently, uh, Attack on Titan and uh, Monster Masume. <laughs> My family listens to this. I haven't watched Attack on Titan yet, but I've been meaning to watch it. Really good. I I really liked how it ended. I feel like it wrapped it up pretty well. That's what I I've heard about for like forever. And I'm not really gonna get into it because it's still fairly new so i don't want to like spoil it for everybody yeah i'm still in season two i i watch it off and on well I've, if i could talk anything i mean like i've watched castlevania with my girlfriend like through and through and it is by far like one of the most like one of my favorite shows and I would gladly rewatch it. It is so good. It has like the whole goblin slayer super like gory aspect. I mean most Castlevania content is super gory as is, but it's like I I don't even know. It, it's really good. Characters are all fleshed out. Go ahead. That um goblin slayer is actually good as well as um what was it castlevania castlevania is really good but i always i've always held uh goblin slayer near and dear to my heart just because is the amount of like shock it gives is just amazing dude goblin slayer has so much like it's like a new surprise around every corner (laughs) There's a there's a movie that came out for it, and I absolutely adored the movie. I remember um, I, had, I, don't know. I had the pirate Goblin Slayer, so I could watch it. <laughs> oh, Pirating, I'm not gonna lie, I pirate a lot too. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think anybody's not guilty of pirating once in their life, you know? At least, like, yeah, at least once in their life. I have never pirated anything. You get in two shoes. Shut up with your lying BS. I've probably gotten Caleb here to watch a pirated movie without him even knowing it. Yeah, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good little boy. And I'm a good Christian. I'm saving myself. Rattlesnakes <laughs> <laughs> and alligators. Oh my. <laughs> stupid conversations that we have but um i'm trying to think though There's like a lot yeah. of stuff that shut up a lot of animes that i'm really big into and i can recommend because personally i believe you can find an anime that someone will enjoy even a person that says they hate anime you can find one anime that they'll enjoy i mean just like ask them what they're into and then any adjective they say just put it in there and i'm sure there's a very specific title <laughs> that's dedicated to that <laughs> subject <laughs> that's that's my point exactly yeah i do enjoy how it's like anime has became a lot more mainstream a lot more over the years I just like the art style. Me too. Um, like, there's one anime. Uh, what is it? Uh, Demon Slayer. Art for it is so beautiful. So beautiful. Like, that is like, what if it's like, uh, most talked about and most raved about thing. 
just the art style it has and just how well the colors uh, go together and stuff like that. I like, like one of those things oh, where go you ahead. see that they like fully dump all of the budget just in animation style. <laughs> I think this goes for like all shows, but I, I, I particularly like it when it comes to anime, when there's like not too many episodes in one season, so it's like kind of bingeable in a short period of time. Like, okay, I'm going to use Beastars, for example. So, I, like my girlfriend and I, we watched Beastars in one night because we watched the first two episodes and we're like, wow, this is really good. And... Actually, the second season comes out tomorrow on Netflix, so I'm probably going to do the exact yeah, same thing. Yeah, I got to binge watch that, too, because I really did love it. Yeah, it was Even really good. I, I was kind of hesitant at first to watch it because I was just like, this looks like a whole bunch of nasty jazz. Like, I, don't want yeah. to <laughs> I know I know what you, were, what you were trying to say there, but... <laughs> I'm like, trying to beat around the bush with it from actually saying it. Yeah. I was like... I just, I was just looking at it. No, I was the same uh, way. I was the same way. I first saw it, and I'm like, I'm like. All my friends were like, all my friends were just like, no, they just use like animal characters. It's all right, and I was just like, oh, all right, that's the case. Let me just. No, B Star's. B Star's story is like amazing. I can't even like begin to describe, and the memes that come out of that show too. Yeah, one of my friends described it, and I and since he described it like this, I can't take it out of my head. He said it was a eighteen plus version of uh, Zootopia. Yeah, oh. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> it too. <laughs> um, okay. No, legit. Have you not seen? Uh, you you don't have Netflix, do you, Caleb? I I do. I just don't really watch anime that much oh my gosh watch beast stars because season two comes out tomorrow as of the day we're airing this um and it is so good it is such a good show it's one of those things that i think like a non-anime watchers will enjoy like avatar the last airbender a lot of people enjoy that and they don't realize that it's actually like considered an anime yeah you want to hear something crazy i don't like avatar Really? I haven't even watched it. I tried getting into it, didn't like it. Then again, you're the one weird one that only gets into like certain things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God forbid you like specific things, Caleb. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I don't like things. No, no that you he has like. a very like eat thing that he's into. I think the correct word is finite taste. <laughs> Correct word is Stupid. fetish. Oh no, oh. no, not oh, that. No. <laughs> no. Don't kink shame me. <laughs> Your kink is that you don't oh, like no. Avatar. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's my whole kink. It's the only one I have. <laughs> <laughs> There's an anime that I can bet you I can find. Like, there's this one anime that I absolutely love. Um, it has, um, like, it's a, it's a, like a crime one. It's like a futuristic sci-fi crime one called Psychopaths. It's just really interesting because what happens is, is they get up these, they get these like scanners back like scans a person mental mental state and then it like determines how uh how dangerous they are and how like likely they are and probability to like perform a crime and like they get sent to these like therapy camps so that way they can uh fix their mental state i don't like, like the term camp. therapy camp <laughs> no, it, that's, that's like how you would describe it because what happens is is they just legit is just it like when I was a boy scout. Um, oh it's no. Legit, it's like it's no, it's seriously just like a prison. 
to treat you like a patient instead of like a prisoner. Well, yeah, I feel like anything out, called like, therapy like camp. That that's like get. Forever Farms where you send your dead goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> it's a misleading title. <laughs> Mom said that he was going to prance around in the grass. Nope. Uh, and then, like, the main villain um, has a mental state of zero zero, which is, like, perfect. Which means you are, like, perfectly healthy. He's a serial killer. And then it's just, like, you, they can't use their weapons because they can only use it on people that have, like, a high mental state that's, like, considered dangerous. Man's just, but like, it's, cheated it's just the system, very then. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, and then they realize that their system is broken. Well, rip the therapy it's like, camps. It's kind of interesting because I like, because I like, if you look at it, you can see, like, the world might come to that. Will it now? Yeah, because you have to think about it. Like, if you could predict how likely someone is to uh, predict a crime, would you want them to, like, stop them before they do it? Does that make no. the world safer? No. Ever now, they could be turned into a serial killer. Doesn't matter. That'd be predictive policing. I mean, you can't, you can't find somebody guilty for a crime that they haven't committed yet. Oh, but you can deem them um, unsafe. For Other society. countries do it, man. There, one person can be judge, oh. jury, and executioner all in like one setting. That's like what happens with like the police. That's their job. They are judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah, look at like TNM like and Square. It's really America. messed up. Okay. It's like really messed up, and it's that's why I love it so much. It's just because it like makes you think all, all these philosophical questions. Is this system right, or should they actually have? And there's a lot of like good animes that make you question like your whole life and stuff like that. Yeah, um, it's there. Like you said, it's very you know diverse, but like oddly specific to, to like certain subjects. And there's thousands of police ones. Some weird, some not. Some really normal, actually. Yeah, like I said, I've only ever seen two different animes, so that I've actually liked. Well, I guess. I guess moving on from animes, um, another topic we talked about, folks, was uh, personal backstories. How? Who is the couch cast? You know what I mean. Who wants boy, to begin? Oh who wants? Who wants to 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 spread their cheeks and let everybody know who they are? Spread your cheeks. I'm not spreading my cheeks for nobody. <laughs> um, I was all up for this until you said spread your cheeks. Like I'll, I'll tell people what 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 my life has been, but like that's usually for me and my therapist. Fair enough. Um, like like I'm trying to work through those problems. <laughs> um, I once watched a man put a corn dog in his mouth and then pulled it out, and it was only the stick left. Power. <laughs> he stared me right in the face as he did it. Just wreck eye contact. That Immeasurable video. power. Y'all remember that video with the dude that just swallowed the hot dog hole and then just launched them out so of his throat? It's <laughs> it just so like, I, I ain't never seen anybody do this. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the video of the dude walking up to a bus with a flamethrower. <laughs> Oh, dude, that was from the movie um, Hardcore Henry. Oh, that is from Hardcore Henry. I need to make more first-person movies. movies. Yes, they do. A lot of people didn't like Hardcore Henry, and I was, I was like, disbelief because of that. I don't know. The I best, thought it was so good. The best instance of first-person in a movie that I've seen was the Doom movie. The very last part of the Doom movie, they go into first-person. Mm. Really do like Hardcore Henry because I feel like they did a really good job with it. Plus, I love the ending of Hardcore Henry. You know, I, Hardcore Henry has been out since what 2016. Yeah, I, I it was a I long time it. ago. It's just the 
Yeah, it was just the, I just love the ending where they're in the helicopter together. It's just, how could you do this to me, Henry? You're supposed to love me. And then he just writes on the wall of the plane, easy. As he kicks her out of the plane. It was so hilarious. I loved it. It cracks me up. To this it's day. definitely, it, it was a crazy thing to pull off. I mean, because you'd expect it to be basically just like GoPro footage, but like, it actually feels like you are Henry. <laughs> I, I actually um, have Netflix oh, for my yeah. Oculus. You can watch movies in VR. Mm. I personally made it so that way I could like. I fit my... watch movies in VR. Nobody wants to hear about your porn addiction. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't. That didn't even like. <laughs> I didn't even think about it like that. I was just like, oh, what are you watching? Like, Finding Nemo? Like, what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of like Finding Nemo. Oh, I'd be paranoid during Finding Nemo. I hate the ocean. You must love Subnautica, then. Oh, God. I haven't played it. You know, I probably won't ever play it. You know those people that when they see somebody go underwater in movies and they just don't breathe so they can see if they could survive as long as they did? How many people have done that? died watching Finding Nemo? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there would be one or two at least. They're like, I could do this whole movie. If they don't breathe there, I don't breathe there. <laughs> Those fish better come up for air soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not losing to a fish. <laughs> An American, I don't lose to anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fine. So, what movies can you watch in VR on Netflix? Oh, All of them. All of them. Yeah. yeah, they push you on like this couch thing, and I was like, uh, they put you on like a couch, and then you have like this big TV in front of you in VR, and it's just, it's it's actually it's pretty cool. It makes like, you like the movie theater. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. But so, there is there. I can't remember the name of the thing, but there's an actual company that makes VR movies that are mm -hmm. in VR, and they're not, they're, like, just regular movies. Oh, I was thinking, like, I could be watching, like, Breaking Bad, and I could, like, look over and see, like, Jesse Pinkman to my left, or Walter to my right, you know? <laughs> Sadly, you cannot do that. It'd be cool though, though, but they do make VR movies, and I will say, like, a lot of them are cool. A lot of them are also low budget until it starts becoming more of a mainstream thing. Uh, but how long is it gonna take for it to become mainstream? Well, with the Oculus Quest 2 being such a low price for VR, I think it's gonna become a more common thing for big developers to start making VR content, whether it be movies, TV shows, or video games just because it's more accessible now than a year ago when all of the different devices used for VR were a thousand bucks or cardboard. Yeah, oh, and, and it was so the same dude. thing as just like a, what are the, you remember those things as kids where you put like the pictures in and like flip it? It's like equivalent yeah, to what VR was those. back then. <laughs> um, no, throw back to the anime topic. There's this one anime called uh, Sword Art Online. It's about like, virtual reality that goes like an extra step Didn't we and i think last episode i don't know if we did or didn't i'm pretty sure oh, yeah, we, we did. did because we because we talked about gamer because, as well uh because we talked about that my bad we're gonna pull topics <laughs> Go, going going forward to a bat, uh topic that we started and never talked about y'all want to talk about your backstories <laughs> Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't even know what to, what a backstory pertains to. Like, what well, I tripped on kryptonite, and now I got superpowers. And instead of doing good, I just decided to hop on a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And adventure. <laughs> What's your story? That was mine. <laughs> My um, story is that I'm currently trying to snipe a guy. Uh, hundreds of yards away and missed a fatal My mistake. Story. 
that once got magic beans, I ate them. Like, uh, to fart really bad. Hmm. My backstory, my real backstory, is I'm lazy and play video games, so I'm starting a gaming channel on YouTube, and you should go watch it. A gaming channel? Put in the plug. Put in the plug. What's uh, it called? I, What's the name? Uh, uh, it's going to be uh, Face Gaming. F-A-C-3 Gaming. What? Yeah, I'm going to be doing Let's Plays of popular video games and also some funny moments from games like Phasmophobia, uh, Rainbow Six, PUBG, Apex Legends. Oh, oh boy, Apex and Rainbow Six Siege? Oh, it's yeah. unbelievable. Some of the games I'm even actually good at. I've never even... Hey, that sounds like it's a little too far-fetched for me. I don't know about this. No. I've never even heard of gaming channels before. I know, I think it's an entirely new concept that I came up with myself. What? And I think it's going to catch on. There's going to be people all over the world starting ga gaming channels after I do. Pog. That's so Pog. <laughs> Player of game. <laughs> Player of game. Uh, completely unrelated. Are we going for that supply drop? Yeah. <laughs> Audio and video <laughs> listeners and video viewers, love you guys to death, by the way. Um, if you don't remember, our t uh, my two other t co-hosts here, they're, they're, they're playing PUBG. So, and I'm currently staring at a green wall. <laughs> so, if you feel left out, don't worry, I'm still here with you. <laughs> Until he gets a PC and then he'll start playing games with us while we're recording i'm dated i'm still trying to figure out how to set up my wii <laughs> sorry taylor's constantly playing games on a samsung smart fridge Damn. <laughs> we're playing uh my PUBG game on the samsung smart fridge oh i shot it playing like doodle jump <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. So if we want to talk about backstories, I guess I'll go. So instead of tripping on kryptonite, I was uh, a high schooler and um, a child. And I was born a little while ago. Um, but pretty much we get to like now. Uh, I worked at McDonald's. Uh, I was a manager. That was fun. For the time being. Uh, then I quit. <laughs> Which I don't I don't want to crowd the podcast with like McDonald's stories. Because I feel like we could do a whole episode on that on its own. Because C Caleb also oh, worked McDonald's at McDonald's. It's a hell of a place. Yeah. It's a hell of a place. I worked at two different I worked at two as well, but when I worked at the different one, I was not a manager. So, it, it, the, it McDonald's is a, you know, great starter job, but boy, oh boy, do you hear horror tales from it. And there are some. That's not even proper grammar. I'm not even, like, speaking fluently. Anyways, um, <laughs> so I worked there. Uh, then I quit and got a new job, and currently I work for a tech company, and I design websites. So that's pretty cool, but uh, that also kind of is a little boring, and I was talking to my cousin, Caleb, and he was like, you want to start a podcast? I really want to talk shit about Fast and the Furious, and I'm like, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Um, and now, uh, fellow couch cast listeners, video watchers, love you to death as well. Caleb might not, but, uh, you guys are still champs too. That Wait, is, what? oh, I bought a sword actually too. Um, that's the biggest update of my life besides having a girlfriend. Um, but I have a sword now. Uh, handmade in Pakistan, <laughs> and I bought it from 
uh, South Carolina, Margaritaville, Jimmy Buffet. I don't believe you. Yes, I went to the Margaritaville, go, talked to Jimmy Buffet himself, and bought a a first order Templar sword from Pakistan. <laughs> I still think you're lying to me. You've seen it. I don't believe you. Fair enough. Also, in my 28 hours of driving, I wanted to go visit the Mothman Museum. And that pretty much wraps up my life to this point. (laughs) Who's next? That sounds like an amazing life that you've had so far. Um... Yeah. Uh, my life has been nothing like that. Uh, I basically own just a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Uh, Taylor's putting question marks into the Discord. Question marks? That's a fucking question. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to have to tell Taylor here that... Uh, I do not no longer have that their game installed. Plan. <laughs> but now we'll keep going. Um but yeah. I, I, I worked at two McDonald's. I worked at a Home Depot. I worked uh just jobs that uh for random people. And then I was talking jobs. Uh then I then I was talking to my cousin Noah. Um and uh we were like talking about making this podcast and I had no idea what it was. Still haven't done it. Yeah. Um and uh well then we made a podcast. And that's where my life is at this point. Still no job, still single. But you do have a gaming channel. I, I do have a gaming channel that's going to be going up on YouTube. I believe the uh, the first video is going to come out Drum uh, roll. this Friday when this video is posted. It'll come out this Friday. It's going to be uh, part one of a new Let's Play on the game uh, Star Wars Jedi The Fallen Order. The Fallen Order? The Fallen Order. Is that the one where you're the Star Wars character and then you make the lightsaber go swing, swing? Uh, It's called a laser sword, sir. (laughs) And what do you think? I'm just going to go out there with a laser sword and defeat the entire First Order? My mic was muted, but you're going to make a lot of Star Wars fans angry. (laughs) It's okay. I am also a Star Wars fan. I'm making fun of the sequels. (laughs) Not an uncommon thing to do. (laughs) You got to think about the light swords. The light switches? (laughs) You guys like lifesavers? My favorite. I, think... I love the grape kind. Too bad there's only one in Star Trek. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, was scro- I, was scro- I was scrolling through TikTok the other day, and there was this chick wearing a Star Trek uh, uniform. I don't know exactly which one it is because I'm not gay and watch Star Trek. Um, <laughs> but uh, she goes, what would you do if I showed up to our date wearing this and I kind of wanted to duet it with my Star Wars helmet on and then just pull out my fucking lightsaber? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It looks like a cringy Reddit card. My, my, my Stormtrooper helmet along with all of my Star Wars movies in my hand. Like some sort of barbarian. <laughs> yeah. All, all of my uh, Hot Wheels Star Wars. All of my... Uh, all of my Star Wars stuff that I couldn't physically hold in my hand. I have a case for uh, Star Wars action figures that's shaped like Darth Vader's head. We've been questioning if you were a basement dweller, but it seems like you really are. 
Uh, I'm on the second floor, asshole. He's moving up. <laughs> um, you opened up like a very like deep vault memory. I remember exactly what you're talking about when you say the Vader action figure holder. Yeah. Like so vividly. It's actually a cool thing to have. <laughs> yeah. You can take, See, you can take it to Rick nice Harrison's pawn shop. I went outside and touched grass as a child. Dude, I, I have Darth Vader riding a motorcycle, okay? That's hardcore. I have a Coca-Cola bear. And touch grass. Now, hold on, let me let me pull her out. I have a, a full-on Padme Amidala. Even though the viewers and listeners cannot see it. Um, Here, to... I'll, I'll, I'll tap it against the mic so you can hear it. That's Padme. <laughs> Again, I have gone outside. Episode one, Padme. Life. During... Uh, the siege of Naboo. Nice, nice. Yeah. And I go outside and touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> I keep her close because uh, Padme is in a jar. He my... keeps her close in the jar. I do not know. She's going to fit in a jar. <laughs> Get a bigger jar. <laughs> we didn't She's record that bit from the stars. podcast, and I'm not explaining to the to the listeners what the jar means. There, there are some kids that watch our podcast, so let's not explain what the jar is. See the and jar. by kid, I mean our cousin Dewey. See the jar. De- We're giving thing. Dewey another shout out, the Dooford. Yeah, shout out part two because he he thanked me for the shout out today. Did he message you or did he text it on his mom's YouTube account? Because I feel like that's oh, what... he he called me. Oh. Well, shout out, Duford. You're you're good kid. He also wanted to be a moderator. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think I can give Duford that power. <laughs> One man should have all that power. As we have two moderators. I think. I think maybe when he gets older, we can give him the mod privileges. <laughs> you have to be sixteen and up, Dewey. You got some growing to do. <laughs> It's like Peter Dinklage He's... just grew tall. <laughs> of course, that's also know. keeping. He can be a moderator when he gets older. If we're still doing this, which I hope we are. I oh, I plan oh, on it. Keep doing this. We keep, we get to that point though. We're gonna have seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to come back for season two. <laughs> I actually am thinking about um we'll be we'll make the uh the uh episodes um broken up like that uh like by tens and then we'll do seasons that way. Um another thing is is I need to talk to you guys about Apple Podcasts, but for the foreseeable future after this meeting after this episode there's a good chance we will be on Apple Podcasts. It's just we have I have to make my big first financial decision with these guys on whether or not we're actually going to be on it. But I know that was like two weeks ago that we decided that we were going to be on it. Yeah, but uh, it, it's happening, and you audio listeners will actually have a different format than YouTube to to listen to us. You audio listeners are getting a good time right now with the uh, Taylor's mic going through a wind tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, Taylor needs to invest in some better tech. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the Samsung smart fridge can only handle so much. <laughs> it can only, can only handle 35 minutes of recording. Yeah. Is it better now? I think I fixed it a little better now it's only when you talk a second ago it was the entire time consistently yeah <laughs> what ah! Taylor's backstory is that he went into the army <laughs> yeah 
You know, I just I discovered born, a very small thing. I was an A an A one Abrams or a um just birthed me one day. And I was birth. nursed with hot dogs by a screaming bald eagle. I was draped with an American flag and told I needed to pick up this gun and go fight for oil. Hot dogs are good. <laughs> your breast fed bush light and sent on your way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hot dogs do be good though. Oh man, hot dogs smack. You know, have you ever seen the like the, the strategies in hot dog eating tournaments? We talked about, we said this was going to be a backstory in anime episode, and we got to hot dogs, but, <laughs> but like, have you seen it, the strategies that they use? Uh, yes, no. I do know how they do the glizzy gobbling. <laughs> the glizzy gobbling, yeah. They'll, they'll like, uh, they'll take the bread off of the hot dog, and they'll dip it in their water and, like, stir it up so it, like, dissolves while they're shoving a hot dog, and they'll, they'll do that with the hot dogs. And then they'll mix up their water with the bread and then swallow or take sips of the water with the bread in it. And they don't like chew the hot dogs. They just guzzle them. Guzzle them down. Uh, Glizzy gobbling. Yeah. It's nuts, dude. (laughs) Dude, eating tournaments are absolutely nuts. I can't like... And people go hard on it. And there's other strategies for all sorts of foods, but I know that's the main one for hot dogs. Dude, that just reminds me of something. Have you guys... You guys remember Regular Show, right? Oh my gosh, yes. And I know exactly what you're going to talk about. Are you talking about the excellent yeah. challenge? Yeah, it's a trucker hat with net holes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fluid motion, dude. <laughs> Dude, that hat is... Uh, believe it or not, I wanted that hat when I was a kid. It's like how people want, like, the Did dipper you? hat from, like, Gravity Falls, but I was just like, I want the, uh... I gotta look and see if it actually exists. The I'm Excellent hat? Caleb has gone silent. Oh my god, it exists. I've only seen a couple episodes of Rick and Morty. I mean, not you can get it on Amazon <laughs> for $14.61. Cents. Listen, my brain's in another location right now. <laughs> Fourteen sixty one for the I'm Excellent hat. I, I don't know. I'd like to win it, though. That's what I'll do. I'll make you the Excellent Challenge, all right? Okay. And I'll buy the hat, and we'll see if you can get through it. So well, it's just eating an omelet in an hour. Oh. Um, no, it's a lot more than that. What, it's an omelet, probably bread, and... I don't know, let me look up what the excellent challenge is. It is a dish made of 12 eggs with mushroom and peppers before being topped with 4 cups of chili, 2 cups of American cheese, 2 biscuits on the side, and a 5-pound bowl consisting of cantaloupe, watermelon, and honeydew. That sounds easy. I don't like mushrooms. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms either. I guess when you're pounding but, down a 12 egg omelet, I guess it doesn't matter, but. <laughs> wow, there's like real pictures of it too. That thing is massive. Um. Jing with Babish. Here, here he made it. Yeah, that's who I was looking at. <laughs> it's. It is legit the most. Uh, to the point where it's almost gross. I'll be real. It looks gross. I'm just thinking about like going through and eating that, and it just like grosses me out a bit. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine actually eating that. Hold on, now I gotta. So I said, it. if you want to go through it, go through it with me, man. I will support you entirely. No, I I'm, I might not I might pass on that one, but uh, I do have my favorite hat that I wear very often, which is a Foodorama hat. That um, it comes from Manio, North Carolina, and it is like there is only one Foodorama. Okay. And, I eat the shit out of that. 
<laughs> I just found the picture of it. I it. <laughs> it's, it's like a delayed reaction. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'd eat that. <laughs> Look, good as shit. Well, we'll get Caleb the hat, and then we'll make him do the challenge. That'll be the first live video episode. Yeah, fuck the game show. Yeah, eating the excellent challenge. Yes, I would love that. Couchcast first first live stream. Can Caleb finish the excellent challenge? Yes. Probably. Most likely. I am fat. You could eat all that in an hour. I think so. I'd start with the biscuits. The biscuits? Mm -hmm. I'd start with the biscuits, then eat the fruit. That way it washed down the biscuits and then start on the rest. There's an actual way to eating it, though. Yeah, you, have, you smash up the biscuits, put them in the water. And the drink. Yeah, you stir it up so it's diluted. And then you drink while you're eating. Yeah, but that's gross. I mean, yeah. Watery, watery bread is just gross. I mean, I feel like either way will give you the hat, so, I mean. <laughs> that's also five pounds of fruit. Holy shit, that's yeah. a lot of fruit. And watermelon is basically water, so it's not going to do anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so is cantaloupe. Is, that's still a lot, though. Yeah. Fruit's good for you. And how long do you have to eat it? I forget. You have an hour. An hour hour to eat you better not eat anything for like two days no dude i could eat that right after dinner <laughs> i'm making it sound like i'm like 900 pounds right now my 600 my, pound my, life, my, my life yeah <laughs> where's my tlc show <laughs> <laughs> then you are the most heaviest out of the three of us that's fucked that was rude <laughs> and the shortest. Listen, I used to be okay. Listen, listen. <laughs> you can make fun of me for my weight, okay, asshole. But I have no choice over my five foot two stature. Yeah, I can't believe you're five you foot two. Being... <laughs> I'm not five foot two. I'm like five four. My license five. says five eight. <laughs> Wait, what? You're what? Yeah. My license says I'm 5'8". You're not that much shorter than like me. It's kind of hard to believe that you're 5'4". I don't actually know He's my five foot height. Six. All I know is that on my license it says 5'8". I think I'm like I'm like 5'9". So I'm we're basically the same height. So I think we're I think your license is right. There's a pretty big difference between 5'2 and 5'9". 5'8". <laughs> Nah, I am Peter Dinklage. <laughs> I am Peter Dinklage. No, Taylor. Peter Dinklage is not Hispanic. <laughs> I'm not Hispanic either. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you are. No. Yes, sir. You're not bringing back the running joke of calling me Mexican because I have tan skin. <laughs> I absolutely am. You just called me fat and short in the same sentence. I'm bringing back that you're a Mexican. <laughs> it's racial stereotyping. We can get banned from Discord. It's not yeah, racial Discord stereotyping. Oh, because I'm just being, I'm simply being stating, racist. I am simply stating that you have the complexion of a Mexican. That is not that is not racist. I have the complexion of a white guy. Is an albino racist? Uh, no, an albino race. An albino, what are you uh, two Mexican going race. on about? <laughs> oh, that Caleb's racist. Closeted racist. You call <laughs> Caleb fat Caleb. And, and small, and and you and he's calling you dark pigmented. There's no <laughs> difference. You're both trying to offend each other. <laughs> We were talking about the excellent challenge, and I was talking about the no one can beat my meat hat that I have. Good hat, though. I gotta admit, though. I fucking love that hat. 
It's my favorite hat. I I hope when I die. Well, I don't know what I love. I'm buried with. Love from Taco Bell. The what from Taco Bell? The dog? Yo quiero Chalupa. Taco Bell? Chalupa? I haven't had that. I've wanted to try one though. The naked chicken? Fuck. Is that what you're talking I about? The, the naked chicken chalupa? Yeah. No, yeah. I haven't had it. I don't really I go out to Taco Bell too much. Because I'm scrolling through Facebook. I mean, it's just a taco without the meat, and it's like the chicken's the outside. <laughs> Have y'all seen Black Widow yet? No. Um, no, but I've been meaning to get around to it. Let me just say that I have a new simping problem. Simping? Yes, I am now a simp. And we're kicking him off the podcast. We don't allow simps here. I was going to say. You, you, you watch the Black Widow movie and tell me that <laughs> Black Widow's sister is not hot. I'm not a simp. That is not something I do. I don't think I've ever heard you say simp before in my life. Well, we're content creators now. We have to get with the lingo. <laughs> simp. <laughs> simp. Yes, hey, I'm a simp. Simpson, the, the Sniper original monkey. Simp. <laughs> Sniper monkey. Sniper monkey. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> what an eventful episode. <laughs> I'm a sim seriously intelligent Minecraft player. Yes. I'm a simp. Mayonnaise on an escalator. Going upstairs, I'll see you later. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Thanks for coming to this episode of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> no, right? This has just been one clusterfuck after the other. Yes. <laughs> Hope you liked our uh, anime backstory, anime, uh, where we work, where we have worked. Uh, me being single, fat, and short. Taylor being of Mexican pigment. Uh, Noah asking what we're talking about. Me simping for Black Widow's sister. Podcast. Man, that's going to be a long-ass title. <laughs> As many animes do, we have to have a very specific... What are you doing for the thumbnail for this one? God only knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like anime, off. stock images, and... You got to put Black Widow's sister in there. I guess. I'll put Black Widow's sister in there, but... She's my new favorite Marvel character. I saw her in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite Marvel character is freaking Squirrel Girl. Yo, holy fuck. Hold on. I like Fing Fang Foom. Uh, I gotta... I, I... Favorite Marvel character is Batman. That's not what I meant to do. How do I send something? I don't remember how to send something to Discord through Facebook. <laughs> ending it now yeah I yeah i think we should <laughs> uh just remember folks that we're professionals and uh episodes come out every tuesday and thursday uh, every tuesday every... and thursday i think let me tell them caleb what time do they come out every tuesday and thursday i think you can uh, tell us that they they come out 9 a.m on tuesdays and thursdays but get this new episodes on the gaming channel every friday <gasps> pog mm. pog mm -hmm. that's so pog 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 jeez oh my god a shiny child black. oh my god that's so pog 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 fish yo we should do an n64 stream yeah, let me go pick that up real quick. <laughs> I got one in the attic. Really? Right, it's time to end it. We should all play Goldeneye. Okay. Folks, this has been the Couchcast Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Noe. 
And I am still making a gaming channel. I am still playing uh, video games. Love you guys to death. We'll catch you around. Except for you, Bye. video listeners.